Today I am doing the what's in my bag tour. I love these videos. They're like oddly satisfying and sometimes I get fun ideas from other people. So excited to show you my large tote today. Um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Carolyn. You can hit subscribe if you'd like to stick around. Let's get right into it though. I have a few things that are kind of different about how I handle my purse. So this to start off is actually very large. I only realized how large it is when I am seeing it now. <laughs> um, this is kind of the size of it against my body. It's, you know, a big tote and I love it. Um, as you will see, I have a smaller handbag, but I'm doing the big one because it has honestly the most stuff that I genuinely use a lot. So one of the first things, actually, let me just show you. This is all stuff that we'll get into. Smaller things at the bottom. One of the first things that I have in my tote is a smaller purse. Um, not many people probably do this, but I like to have a purse that's smaller with my essentials in it and have this bag contain the kind of nice to have things that I would love to carry, but don't necessarily need to. So if I'm ever running out really quickly, I'll grab this. If we're just going out to dinner, I'll grab this. But you know, if we're going away for the day in the car, I'm bringing this. Or if I'm going to the office, I'm bringing this. So let's first go through my smaller purse, which is in the bigger purse. And this is a coach bag. It's a crossbody. Uh, my mom got it for me for Christmas years ago and it still is in great condition. Um, I like the size and I like that it's kind of a statement color. Uh, first thing in here is my phone. So it's 514 where I live right now. And this is a picture of me and my sisters. Oh, if it'll come back on. Picture of me and my sisters from about 20 years ago. So obviously an essential, that's why it's in this bag. The next thing is my wallet. Um, this is actually a wallet from Italy. I got it on my honeymoon. And I actually also got one for my mom as part of her Christmas gift. It's an accordion wallet and I'm obsessed with it. If you ever see something like this, grab it. Um, it has all my main stuff, so a little bit of cash. It's not the best for cash, to be honest, and coins are like way, way at the bottom. There are only a few in there. But it has stuff like, you know, my main credit card, my debit card, my Starbucks card. Gotta have that, even though I also have the app. Um, a uh, health insurance card, a frequent coffee buyer card, uh, my ID for the state of Massachusetts, and my card for a co-working space. It's kind of cute, actually, I think. I have a co-working space that I work at downtown Boston um, for my business, and then the Charlie card is our subway card, and that's the wallet. I can also throw this in like a coat pocket, so if I just need to run to the grocery store or something, I'm usually just grabbing this. Um, what else here? Oh two pens and a lady item. And then the last thing is in the pocket, just my keys. So I have a, let's see here. I have a leather, just a strip of leather. This actually came with my tote and I liked it. I just kind of kept it because it's a nice thing to grab. And then a little clog, it's from Amsterdam. I thought they were so cute when we were there also from the honeymoon. Um, it was so cute. They were so cute, I thought, when we were there, but they are also kind of silly, so I didn't end up buying one. And then our last few hours, we went to this restaurant who was giving them away with the check. It was really cute. So moving on, that is the main purse, or like the essentials purse that I keep in the larger tote. Phone, keys, wallet, pen, lady item. Um, but let's get into the bigger thing. So that, the fists, thing like came with the tote. It's just a pouch and it attaches by a clip, if you can see that. And it came with it and I didn't really know what I want to do with it. I might get rid of it eventually, but for now it's been nice because I've actually just been throwing receipts in it. Believe it or not, I do sometimes accept the paper receipt, particularly if I look at something and I'm like, would I ever... I don't know if you heard that, but that was the dishwasher. Um, I don't know if I'll ever potentially want to return this, so I just kind of hold on to the receipt, and every once in a while, I clean them out of here and just recycle them, but I have once gone back. So actually, let's 
leave that out of the bag because I already talked about it. Um, the next thing I'm seeing is <laughs> mayhem. So this is just real life. I am always writing down notes and lists and this is a scrap piece of paper from the office that I want to bring home. It actually has some YouTube video ideas. Um, so if you're new here, I have been posting videos for a couple of years, but kind of inconsistently and there are some things that are coming up in my life this year that have made me want to routinely post. So for 2019, the remainder of 2019 and probably into 2020, I'm going to be posting every single week. So again, subscribe if you want to stick around. There will be every week a new video here or more. So speaking of new things in my life, this is a journal I've been keeping to document my um, family, starting a family stuff. So I'm actually not going to get into it. I reference it in another video um, more specifically, and I even like read some pages from it. But Greg and I, who's my husband, we're about to start a family this year, and I have been keeping this notebook because partially memory storing, partially keeping me sane. More on that in the other video, I won't bore you, but notebook. The other thing, the other big item, so receipts, notebook, and then this pouch. So this pouch is kind of my, I don't know, like beauty pouch. I don't know if you really call it that, but I'll go through each item that's in here. Let me take this down. Oh, what I can now show you is that it has a, this bag has a little magnet closure, which I love. It only really works if I don't have my other purse in this. Uh, one purse only, please, says this bag. But I do like it that it kind of clasps shut and it looks nice when it's sitting on the floor when it has its clasp. That bag, by the way, is fake leather. They advertise as vegan leather, but it is very nice and soft. I love it. This is also fake leather. This I just got for about 10 bucks at a TJ Maxx checkout line. Holler if you love a TJ Maxx checkout line, like the little impulse buys there. Dangerous. But anyway, in here, checkbook. <laughs> You might think I'm a granny for even carrying a checkbook, but I need checks for my acupuncturist and I go to this, this acupuncturist probably every two months or so. Um, more lady items. Again, this is kind of my small floaty items. This is an EOS hand moisturizer. It smells, it smells kind of like cucumber, lemon or something i don't know it reminds me of a bath and body work scent my mother-in-law gave me that this is a compact mirror sometimes you just need a mirror and your phone won't suffice so this is a mirror it was from the company that did it was from the company that did my um bridal makeup they gave this to me as a little uh i don't know courtesy gift i didn't use it on the day but it's nice and very small which i like business cards so these are my business cards I am obsessed with them so for those of you who don't know I have a company and we print out postcards for people to send to their grandparents like our members text us and then we print out postcards put them in the mail to the grandparent anyway I just love these business cards because they're like little mini postcards it's like two pictures on the front and then the message that people text us on the back. But obviously this, since it's the business card, it just explains what we do and then has our contact information on the address part. So cute. So a little bit of uh, business cards. This, we ordered ours from the company Moo, M-O-O. -O. Okay, some contacts, so I wear contacts. I have the AccuView Oasis one day contacts, but I wear them for multiple days. A Glossier lip balm. This is such a staple if you've never tried a Glossier lip balm. So far my favorite lip balm. My younger sister introduced me to them and I am obsessed. Uh, a hairbrush. I think this is a stocking stuffer from years ago that I actually just find very handy. Again, my little beauty bag. And then another hand cream. So this is the 
L'Octane handbag. I mean, sorry, <laughs> hand cream. Um, it's very high quality. I think I got it also at the checkout line, but at Sephora maybe. Oh, and then another lady item, but that was that bag. I'm creating quite the mess for myself to pick up after this. It's worth it. Okay, not much more to go, but some interesting things we're actually now getting into. I feel like a lot of that is standard between, you know, beauty products and a notebook and a wallet. It's like, come on. Um, but other things that are nice to have are my iPad. So this is actually a hand-me-down iPad from my older sister, Grace, who gets a lot of Apple products. She and her husband are like super pop, super, super popular Apple products. No, they're super into Apple products. And um, she hand me down this to me, which I'm so grateful for. Honestly, I use it a lot for, I actually should look at the stats, but most of what I use the iPad for is YouTube. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a reusable bag. I'll open it for you. I usually roll it up with a um, elastic band, rubber band, but it is a reusable grocery bag. I use this all the time, all the time. I used it this morning. I, my Actually, my aunt from Australia gave it to me, so it's this really pretty pattern. Um, it was a gift when she visited us last time so I don't know where you can get this exact bag, but it is very cute, I think, and super compact. It is also very strong. Like I'll put a, you know, a carton of almond milk and a, a glass bottle of juice and like soup cans and more in that thing and it does not break. It's kind of amazing. Another nice to have is this little pouch filled with a lot of my like loyalty cards or gift cards. Like, let's see, I have $50 to Lululemon that I haven't used yet. Gotta get on that. I have a Marshalls from Christmas. Um, more loyalty cards. So let's see, oh, I have my Sephora. I actually do use this. My Sephora Beauty Insider card my blood donor card. I'm trying to block most of my info, but and I'm not gonna show it. My blood donor card. I just was about to say, it's kind of a riot to me. My um, blood type is B positive, and Greg was like, of course it is. So those are just more cards that aren't necessary, but obviously I use a lot. Vitamins. So if I'm not, this bag also just sits at my home office desk. So I have an alarm set on my phone to go off at every day at 11 a.m. for my vitamins. The most important one, the reason I actually have an alarm to take these things is prenatal. But I also have, I think, a calcium, a biotin, and a B complex. That's what I'm currently taking. The whole vitamin world is kind of new to me, but I had to get into it because of the prenatal, and now I'm curious and enjoying the experiment. I think I need to stop taking the B complex though. It's, I don't know, TMI. I'll get to that maybe in another video. Um, a to-do list for the weekend. And another notebook. So the big notebook that I showed you, that pink notebook, this one, has a very specific purpose. It's more like a journal for that part of my life. And this is more like a everyday, everyday need to take a quick note. Um, do I have a piece of paper in my bag? Yes. Um, the pen actually is funny. It's an Uber pen. I got this because I did a like some Uber event where I signed up to have a business meeting with a successful entrepreneur in Boston during an Uber ride. So it was this free meeting, it was like kind of this, you know, campaign they did where I signed up, I like registered or applied to get a business meeting and an Uber picked me up. A successful guy who runs another software business in Boston was in the Uber. I was able to ask him as many questions as I wanted and the Uber just kind of drove around town for I think 20 minutes. It was so cool and so random, but it was like this fancy Uber car that showed up and I was actually pretty nervous for it, but it ended up being really, really fun. 
And we're at the bottom of the bag now. Lastly is my sunglasses. So this is, believe it or not, my sunglass case. Uh, I have sunglasses from an Italian brand. Funny enough, I actually bought them while in, on vacation in Paris. I sound really fancy with my travel, but I leave the country like once every year or two for a vacation. And this was actually from years ago, like probably three years ago, I bought these sunglasses and I'm obsessed with them. Do you wanna see them on? How cute are these? I'm obsessed with them. Very careful about keeping them in the case at all times uh, because I love them and I don't wanna have to keep ordering them from Italy. But that's it. That's the end of the bag. I lied, I just saw. I have another pen. That is the end of the bag now. Um, as you can see, this leather bag is super nice and flexible. I got it at TJ Maxx for, oh, and it's technically reversible, by the way. I can hypothetically invert it and have a, uh, the light brown color. I might try that in um, at some point. I, I like a staple black tote. But that's what's in my bag. I hope you got something out of it, maybe an idea. Maybe you're gonna put a smaller purse into a bigger purse. Maybe you already do that. Let me know what you thought in the comments, particularly right after I post videos, I watch the comments and I love to comment back particularly then, but also in general. So if you're watching this later, still leave a comment. I might see it still. Um, but if you do wanna stick around, I am, like I said, gonna be posting a video every week for a long while and really give YouTube my attention because there is some exciting stuff happening in my life. So if you like this, wanna see more from me, then do click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join our little growing community here. Um, but that's it for now. I will see you around. Thanks for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Bye. It's pretty impressive that I get all of this stuff in my bag. Now I gotta put it away. Okay, bye.